Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT. In today's class, we are going to learn how to blink an LED using Raspberry Pi. Okay. So for that, we have firstly connected the Raspberry Pi and we are on the uh, Raspberry Pi desktop. Okay. So in order to program the LED with respect to Raspberry Pi, first we need to open, go to the start of a Raspberry Pi and go to the programming and select Python IDLE. Okay, click on that. So once you select the Python IDLE, you can find the window IDLE shell with 3.9.2. This is the version of Python IDLE where we have. Okay, now what we need to do is you need to go to file and create a new file. Click on new file. Okay. So this is the new file we have opened. Now here we can write our blinking, LED blinking program. Okay, so program has got uh, pasted. So once you open the file, new file, you need to write the program. Okay, so this is the program for the LED blinking using Raspberry Pi. So let's see the instructions one by one. So first one is we need to import the GPIO pins. Whatever the pins we, near, we are using to interface the LED, we need to import them. Okay. So import RPI Raspberry Pi dot GPIO as GPIO. Okay. So this is the uh, instruction or the function we need to mention in order to import the GPIO points. Next, in order to give the delay for the LED on and off, we need to import time. Next instruction is import time. Okay. Now we need to set same as uh, Arduino. In Raspberry Pi also, we need to set the mode, okay? Whether uh, we are using board pins or whether we are using pins with respect to numbers, okay? So, board pins in the sense, uh, we have totally 40 pins, right? Okay? So, in those 40 pins, if you count from the top, left side will be the first pin, right side will be the second pin. Again, left side will be the third pin, right side will be the fourth pin, right? So, if at all you are mentioning gpio.board, we are considering the pins in the physical form, whatever you are seeing, okay? As I have said, now gpio.setmode, gpio.board is considered. That means based on the counting of the pins, we are selecting the particular pin. So which pin we are taking in order to connect the LED? gpio.setup, in brackets, third pin, okay? So... From the left, we have uh, second row, okay? Second pin will be our uh, third pin, okay? So, third pin with respect to GPIO as an output, okay? So, we are going to connect the positive terminal of the LED pin to the third pin of the Raspberry Pi, okay? Now, we need to write the logic. While true, okay? While true, GPIO should be dot output should be three of true okay so that true means here it is considered as logic one or high okay that means the led will be on now for a particular point of time led should be on right so up to which time the led should be on means up to time dot sleep of one that means one second delay is given over here after one second of delay, again, what should happen? GPIO.output, that means third pin should again goes to false. False means the logic will be low, okay, or zero, okay. Again, up to which time it should be false, it should be false with respect to time dot sleep, okay, so of one second. So, while it is true, it keeps on repeating the loop. That means the third pin will be keep on having a value of true for a one second and having a value of false for an another second. So this helps in blinking the complete uh, LED using uh, Raspberry Pi interfacing. Okay. Now, once you write the program, let's, I will be showing you, you need to go to run and click on run module. Okay. See. So source must be saved, okay? Click on okay. So just give a file name. I already have uh, some LED name. So what I will be doing is I will be giving LED two. 
Okay, no need to save, uh, give any extensions. By default, it will be taken as a Python file. So just give as LED2 and click on save. Okay, now the program has been saved. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to run and you need to click on run module. Okay, this is how it will be considered. Okay, so we have got a warning that warning can be negligible. This channel is already in use and continue enable. That can be negligible. Okay. Now we need to do the hardware connections. Let's set up the LED with respect to the post terminal of the LED. You go to the third pin. A2 terminal of the LED should be connected to the ground of the Raspberry Pi. And let's check whether the LED is blinking or not. So in order to interface the LED with respect to Raspberry Pi, firstly, I'm considering a resistor. Okay. I'm taking a one kilo ohm resistor. Okay. So, so why we are using resistor means it opposes the flow of current such that the LED will be safe for a longer time and it will be getting a sufficient energy only. Okay. So the other end of the resistor should be connected to the positive terminal of the LED. So this is the LED I am preferring. So the positive terminal of the LED goes to one end of the resistor. Okay. Now what we need to do, see, the third pin is our output pin, right? Okay. So the one, two and three. Okay. So the third pin of the Raspberry Pi is connected to the positive terminal of the LED. LED is connected to resistor, right? So at the resistor end, we need to connect our third pin of the Raspberry Pi. Okay. So the sixth pin of the Raspberry Pi is ground. Okay. So the ground one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The sixth pin of the Raspberry Pi is our ground. So in order to give the ground for LED, we are using the sixth pin of Raspberry Pi. Connect that to the LED. Okay. See, you can clearly observe the LED blinking with respect to the code. Okay. So this is how a simple LED blinking with respect to Raspberry Pi can be done.